Hello everyone. This is the CW Dash uh, Connection Wizard. This is how you connect CW Dash to your ConnectWise on-premise database. It's a simple three-step wizard. Uh, if the on-premise server is physically located in your office uh, and it's in the domain, in your domain, when you click on the down arrow here, it will show up because it does a search of all the uh, servers in the domain. Now, in, in our case, it's called Forza CW. Uh, you don't want to select the demonstration mode. <clears throat> and when you click, because that just, uh, you can actually see uh, some demonstration boards, but you want to see your own data. You want to be able to, to view your own data. So I'm going to click Next. So the two ways to connect to the ConnectWise database is through Windows Authentication or through SQL. Now, if your server is on-premise, like it is here, and it's in the domain, Windows authentication will work. I am logged on to this workstation as a domain user, so I can see it. So when I click Next, it'll show up here. It'll go to the third step, and then you actually have to choose the instance of the database. In our case, it's CW Web App underscore Forza. I'll simply select that, click Test, and it says it's, it's connected. That's it. That's all it needs to connect. You're all set. Now, if your server is in a data center, it's not in your, in your office, or it's out of your domain, you may have to type in an IP address. You may have to type in the site name. Uh, the site name that you use to actually log on to ConnectWise will work here as well. So it all depends on how your you're set up. Now if you have to do that, if you have to type in the IP, when you go to the next screen, Windows Authentication will not work. So you need to click on SQL and type in a logon ID and a password to the SQL server. Now sometimes ConnectWise databases are on another server and their actual ConnectWise um, application is on another. You actually have to point it to the SQL server. Uh, that has the ConnectWise information. Now you may use the SA account if you want, the system administ administrator, but it's not necessary. As long as you have a read-only account that connects to the ConnectWise SQL Server, you put in the credentials here, you click Next, and you'll be able to connect to the database without a problem. If you do click Next and it comes up with an error that I can't see it, Windows Authentication will not work and you'll have to work with SQL Authentication. So once you put those credentials in, you can click uh, Next. Server is not available. So if you have the incorrect credentials, it will not continue. Once you have the correct credentials, be it Authentication, Windows Authentication, or SQL, you simply go to the Next, as I said, choose the correct instance, which is always CW Web App underscore your company name. Click the data source and you're all set. Click finish and you're then connected. Thank you so much. Have a great day.